Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S5 root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to restore, unroot, uh, unbrick your phone um, in case um, you were using uh, Safe Chat Recovery and uh, you know you lost your stock ROM because you forgot to uh, pack it up. Right now, as of this video, there is no stock firmware available for the ND3 Android 4.4.2. So uh, what I'm going to do is you can basically use the safe strap backup image that I've um, I have and uh, restore it and that will be like complete stock um, so let's go ahead and do this uh, first you'll need a micro SD card um, since I'm gonna assume that your phone does not boot um, so your phone does not boot and uh, you know you can go ahead and install a custom ROM uh, but that's not the point you want the stock ROM and you will also want to get OTA updates so this will install completely unrooted stock firmware a uh, ND3 Android 4.4.2 um, you must have not upgraded um, to pass ND3 otherwise it's probably not gonna work um, so let's go ahead and do this first you need a micro SD card and uh, we'll boot into um, safe start recovery and I'm also assuming your safe drive recovery is working. Obviously, it should be working if you've installed it. It doesn't just go away. Um, so once it boots, I'm going to go ahead and hit the recovery button um, to get into safe drive recovery. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a backup uh, because we need to, the, the way these directories are on the safe drive recovery, uh, we need to make a directory for it. So what we're going to do is go to backup and um, just back up cache and also we're gonna use make sure you use the micro SD card instead of internal storage and this will create uh, the correct uh, twerp backup directory which is twerp backups ed245b82 it may be different uh, but uh, it may be different with every system now go ahead and take the micro SD card out and uh, let's plug it into our computer all right if you don't have a micro SD card reader you can go ahead and use one of these adapters. It probably came with your micro SD card at one point. Um, so go ahead and insert it to computer. Let's go to your computer. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and download um, this file. This is the KOT49HG900A uh, blah blah AND3.zip. This is a safe strap recovery backup I made uh, of the stock ROM after I did a factory reset. So there's no personal data, nothing. It's completely stock. Um, go ahead and unzip this using uh, extra ac extract all files or if you're using uh, Mac or Linux you can also extract it uh, and you get a folder with a uh, KOT 49H blah blah AND3 uh, with all of the backup files you need um, simply do a right click copy all right all right next go ahead and go into your removable disk um, now uh, you should have a folder called twerp directory and also a folder called backups and you should have another folder called uh, with a random characters and letters. Go ahead and click there. And then that's the cache backup I made. The reason why I made it, if you don't have this directory, um, you'll have to make it. So go ahead and paste the folder here inside twerp backups uh, blah blah there. And also if you can't access your system, you can also just simply copy it into your twerp backups blah blah directory uh, on your phone and uh, restore it that way also. But I'm just showing you in the worst case possible, uh, that way you can restore your phone back to stock ROM. And the only thing you really have to do after uh, installing the stock, stock ROM, if you wanna get rid of safe strike recovery, um, you, may you will have to reroute it because this is unrooted. Uh, reroute using towel root, uh, and then go ahead and install. Um, you can go ahead and uh, install safe strap back again and then uninstall it uh, and then you can unroot using super su app also you can do a factory reset after that um, in stock recovery that will wipe out everything um, so i'm almost done here i'll be back when this is completely done all right it is almost done here and i'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the micro sd card uh, put it back into my phone and get into safe strap and we'll simply restore our ROM here or our stock backup so it is done I'm gonna go ahead and take it out place it back in here all right and let me change the camera angle real quick 
All right, next we're gonna go ahead and power on our phone. All right, and then go back into safe strap. And we'll restore our, our ROM here. Go to recovery. Let me clean all this gunk out real quick. There we go. And once in safe strap, you should be able to now uh, restore the uh, stock AND3 um, Android 4.4.2 uh, backup that I made here. Go ahead and go to restore. And you're in micro SD card. And that's the folder we just copied. Go ahead and click there and go ahead and restore. All right, and that will restore you back to the G900A UC-U2-AND3 uh, stock firmware. And uh, you should be all good to go. Again, if you want to, um, if you want to, actually, you know what? You may be able to just do a factory reset after restoring, and that might that should get rid of the safe strap. But we'll try it together, um, just in case, and uh, we'll see what happens here. And I'll be back when this is completely done. Actually, that may work. You may not have to do that. Um, I'm going to try it just to see. At the worst, I'll have um, I can reuse the method I just showed you to restore my ROM. Um, so it shouldn't be a huge problem. But uh, I'll do a factory reset. But I'm going to go ahead and reboot and show you that um, you know you should now have the stock ROM uh, with everything you need there. And uh, it's almost done. I'll be back. All right, it is done. Let me go ahead and reboot system and show you uh, that everything's working. By the way, I, I get one of these. These are very nice stuff. Um, this is I got from buying my glasses over at Dr. Susan's office. Cool. Um, works really well cleaning my thing. There we go. I'm uh, here, and you can see I've recovered everything. You see the welcome screen here. Uh, let me just go through this. And this is completely stock. I've removed everything before I backed up. Um, I did a factory reset, actually. And you should now have your stock ROM um, running. Um, and uh, I'm not sure. You may be able to get OTA updates in this state with SafeStrap because that's not part of the system, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but now you should have um, build status, ah, bill number, AND3 right there. There we go. So let's try one more thing, what we can try. Uh, let me go ahead and power down. Let's do a factory reset, and uh, that might actually clear, um, clear out everything. And how you can do that is just hold down volume up, center home, and the power. Volume up, center home, and the power. Hold it down for about five seconds until you see recovery booting. And this will get you into stock recovery. And uh, this will wipe off everything on your phone. So make a backup before doing this. But I just want to um, record this and see if it works. Wipe data factory reset. So go to wipe data factory reset and say yes. And this will erase everything on your phone. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to affect safe strap, but I'm, I'm thinking it's it might get rid of it. So let me go ahead and reboot system now. Um, then it's just it's the process becomes simpler. We don't have to remove safe strap. Um, oh, safe strap's still there. Okay. So to remove safe strap, what you'll have to do once you have the stock ROM running, um, go ahead and reroute it, and then go ahead and uh, install the safe strap app just like you did. And then go ahead and uninstall it. All right. And then go ahead and remove the safe strap app. And then go ahead and remove root. Super SU has, uh, if you go into settings, there's a button for unroot and it will remove root. And once you do that, you'll have completely stock. Um, you should be able to return your phone back to ATT or take OTA updates. Uh, they should work just fine. And uh, anyway, I just want to point this out. Anyway, I hope this video helped. Um, you know, I just made it because. I happened to uh, helping uh, helping somebody who went into similar situation. So um, just record the video while I was doing it. Uh, anyway, this should work for everyone. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxyus5root.com, and I will see you guys soon.
And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay here on Android.